I just got the new Apple Watch Ultra. And what picked my interest more than any other feature is the underwater functionality of this watch. Now, as any diver will tell you, monitoring your depth and time is not just a luxury, it's a matter of life and death. So today, I'm gonna to take you on a dive with me into the deep blue sea, and I'll be diving on an oil rig platform in the middle of the ocean, where you literally cannot see the bottom. So I'm kinda of counting on this watch to be accurate. I'll be comparing it with my dedicated dive computer throughout the dive. And speaking of dive computers, this watch is not a dive computer yet. We're waiting for an app from Oceanic sometime in the fall. Although, isn't it the fall right now? <laughs> so hopefully any day now. Now the biggest difference between what this watch does currently versus a dive computer is that a dive computer tracks your time underwater, but it also tracks your time on the surface between dives so that you don't end up in a decompression chamber. Now I could still use this watch for diving. I just need to track my bottom time and my surface time manually using the tried and true Navy dive tables. It takes a bit more time, but when used properly, these tables are also more conservative than a computer algorithm. So with that, let's head on over to the boat. So I'm at the boat. There's the boat behind me, but uh, there's no crew. No crew, no dive. Looks like I won't be diving on an oil rig today, which is kind of disappointing since I flew in from Arizona and I really wanted to dive on an oil rig. And well, you know, sometimes stuff happens. So you gotta go with plan B and roll with it. Because I was already in the LA Harbor area, I managed to book a trip on the Avalon Express, which offers daily ferries to Catalina Island. 90 minutes later, I was strapping on my watch and getting ready for my first dive. I love this band because it fits very comfortably over my wetsuit. The place I'll be diving is called Casino Point, and it's actually the first underwater park in the country. It's really easy to make a shore entry here because of the wide cement stairs and handrails. The park depth ranges from 10 feet to 100 feet, so this will be a good place to test out the dive out. I'll wait for the next swell to come in, then make my entry. Once submerged, the dive app goes into action and starts tracking my current depth and bottom time. The water temperature is a warm 73 degrees. I'll check my dive computer against the watch. The computer reports a depth of 65 feet and a bottom time of seven minutes. My watch reports a depth of 68 feet with a bottom time of just under eight minutes. I'll go a bit deeper and check my watch again. I'm at 81 feet now with a bottom time of just under 10 minutes. My dive computer is reading a depth of 79 feet with a bottom time of 9 minutes. Now I could push this watch further, but going beyond 80 feet here, there's not much to see. So I'll head back to shallow water where there's more light and marine life. At the end of the dive, I rescued a horn shark from fishing line, and off he swims. Right, so I finished my dive, and the Apple Watch Ultra performed brilliantly under pressure. In fact, it was actually more conservative than my dive computer. I'm um, looking forward to getting that and testing that out, and let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you next time. So I just ran into Mario here on the Catalina Express boat, and I looked over, and he has the exact same watch as <laughs> I do. Apple uh, Watch right, Ultra. right. So he's waiting for the dive computer too. And uh, what he told me, and I didn't know this, I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to recall the dives that I did. But he said I can do it on the health app, and yeah. it'll actually just go into the health app, go into the, uh, I, you, it, it, you go into all activities, and then it'll show uh, all your dives. Like uh, it records all your dives and all the depths and times. So that's that's super handy. Yeah, that's super handy. Yeah. And remember, I said that. You know, a bit, it'd be better to have a computer because it does it all manually for you or automatically for you. You got to use the Navy dive table. So, yeah. anyway, so my new friend Mario took some pictures of my 360 camera. He has great taste in watch band. All right. Yeah. See you later.